Hello everybody, welcome back. This is Spoonie with another shipbuilding tutorial for Starbase. In this video, we're going to go over triangle thrusters and see how they're different from our regular box thrusters. So first, let's go to our asset browser and pull out some triangle thrusters. So just like our box thrusters, we have the same components. We have the base, we have the combustion chamber, a nozzle, the electricity converter, and a propellant converter. These are assembled just like our box thrusters. We'll place the combustion chamber inside the base, the nozzle on the front, the propellant converter will be placed on the bottom, and the electricity converter will go into the side. Bolt it together, and then we'll add a hard point. So the primary difference between the triangle thruster and the box thruster is that the triangle thruster have these connection points on any of the three sides. These allow the triangle thruster to share resources like propellant and electricity with any connected triangle thrusters. This does mean, however, that any group of triangle thrusters that are sharing one single hard point will not be controlled independently by the flight control unit. It will be controlled as if it is one large thruster. So if you remember our thruster name tool that we went over in a previous tutorial that I'll share a link to, when it's set to automatic, any thruster that is placed will be given a thruster power level followed by a number. These go up to 50. So if we placed a second thruster that was not connected, we can see that its thruster power level is 0, 02. The first one we placed is 0, 01. Now if we were to connect this thruster, we can see that it has been renamed and now shares a power level with our first thruster. This will be true for however many thrusters we connect. So all of these thrusters will now be controlled as if they are one large thruster by the flight control unit. So these thrusters are slightly less powerful and less efficient than a box thruster. However, we can fit more of them in the same amount of space. The drawback being that they will act as one large thruster, regardless of how many we have, unless we connect separate hard points and adjust the name fields so that they are independently recognized by the flight control unit. So these make excellent maneuvering thrusters on larger ships. It's also great to add a few of these to the back of your ship for some additional primary thrust. 